Jimmy Murray is, is like going to the highest university in the whole world. I knew that he had the answer to the things that I dreamed about, you know, mathematically. He's got his own thing, you know, a composer, arranger, all of that, and then he invented this whole system, and then it all works, you know, and, and when you put it together, it's just beautiful. You're watching Jazz Night in America. I'm Christian McBride, and we're back in my hometown in Philadelphia, where anybody who's played an upright bass knows the name Jimmy Merritt. We quickly learn why Jimmy wears shades indoors. Autographs, photos, compliments, more photos. Not bad for a guy who turns 90 this year. Jimmy's resume supports the fanfare. This cat's played with Coltrane, B.B. King, Dizzy Gillespie, He's recorded with Art Blakey, Lee Morgan, Benny Golson, and Max Roach. He never recorded as a leader, but his bandmates still have a healthy respect for his legacy. No less than John Coltrane. No less. Maybe a little greater because he, he really knows a lot. Whoa. When Jimmy wasn't touring, he played in Philly with his own group, The Forerunners. And everybody on stage tonight has a long history with Jimmy. His son, Mike Merritt, is sitting in for him on bass. Odin Pope was a founding band member, and Alan Nelson, Warren McClendon, and Komar Duncan followed a few years later. Terry Lawson just joined eight years ago, so... I think I'm the newest one in. I've always wanted to play in his band. Always wanted to play in his band. And it's, it's like one of my dreams come true. At our concert tonight, WRTI, WXPN, and the Philadelphia Jazz Project are featuring Jimmy's music some of which has never been recorded before. Now get ready. Jimmy's music can be complex, but beautiful. Here's Angela.
What you just heard may have sounded simple, but it wasn't. Most of Jimmy's compositions have unusual time signatures, multiple rhythms, or multiple keys. This all stems from a comprehensive musical philosophy which he calls the system. So he opened up to me uh, his, his series on cross rhythms and things like that. That meant he was willing to give me his secrets, and which he did, you know. Rhythm is very complex because it's the basis on which the entire universe is constructed. I mean, it seems like... A, well, it's a heartbeat. is the most essential yeah. rhythm of a people. <laughs> yeah, and once you can tap, can tap into those universal patterns, it makes it much easier for you to function in terms of all aspects of your life and all aspects of your art, you know? Digging one layer deeper, a key component of Jimmy's system is what's called polyrhythms or cross rhythms. Well, it's one rhythm against another. If I just say so like it, that's three over here, two over here. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. You got two against three. That's real basic now. It gets a lot more complex than that. In essence, I'll be working on this music and my music for the rest of my life. This next tune uses a three against eight cross rhythm and multiple harmonic modes, hence the name cross modes. Trust me, you got this.
Not just anybody can sit in for Jimmy Merritt. Mike Merritt studied with Warren McClendon and has been a professional bassist for decades, most notably with Conan O'Brien's late night band. He traces much of his success back to his father. For me, do, working on this project right now, re, d, d, doing this now, for me, I mean, you know, I, 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 first of all, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. <laughs> Second of all, I wouldn't be a bass player if it wasn't for you. <laughs> So everything that I've been able to do as a musician, as a bass player, I mean, it all starts with, with you. And I feel like it's time for me to turn around and come back and revisit where I came from and what got me started and my origins as a player. And my be very beginnings of my origins as a player came out of being involved with your music. And it's time for me to come back and and revisit it, and I think with all the experiences that I've had and all the things that I've done over the years, the last, I don't know how many years, I don't know how many numbers, <laughs> <laughs> several decades now of just being a professional musician, you know, I'm very proud to be, you know, uh, have the name and to be a merit and to be a bass player. Well, Mike, it's more than I could ever hope for. I, 
I uh, marvel at that's why I guess I believe in uh, infinity and I believe in the infinite spirit. Uh, I feel humble and I also feel that this is somewhere where maybe it can go that that I will never get to go because there are constraints on time and my train will be leaving shortly, you know. Hopefully but, not that shortly. <laughs> This last tune is Jimmy's most famous. Here's Namo. Love that song. The song is so hip.
Take a deeper dive into Jimmy Merritt's long career on our radio show. You Check your local listings or visit npr.org slash jazznight. I'm Christian McBride, and thanks for watching.